Well that's me getting round to finalising my Iceland Part 2 video. Um, I do need to apologise for the length of time it's taken to put these videos together. Um, a mixture of various other commitments plus any opportunity that I've had to get out with the camera. I've taken that opportunity and ran to the hills. So <coughs> I've got a backlog of footage to get through. That's my plan for the next coming weeks, <laughs> the next few weeks. Um, again, as I said, I need to apologise about this video. There's a lack of footage in it, mainly because the weather was terrible the full time we were in Iceland. And it's hard to get inspiration and get inspired to get your camera out day after day in the pouring rain and try and make it look interesting. Um, I've got a few images that I'll share here, a few I was happy with, a few that I wasn't that happy with. Um, but I'll share the best of a bad bunch anyway. And if you hang about towards the end, you'll see I've got a time lapse of the, the Aurora, a short time lapse. Anyway, without further ado, thanks for watching. That's us head from Hoffman to Reykjavik uh, for our final day. We've got another, I don't know, six, six and a half hour journey home to where we're staying tonight, and the weather is terrible again. We'll see how we get on tonight. We're hopeful there's a chance we might see the Aurora tonight. Uh, partly cloudy, which is a result in terms of what the weather's been like the full time we've been here. So we'll see, we'll see how we get on. Now well, that's us arrived at Black Diamond Beach. <laughs> Absolutely torrential rain. That's the view from the car. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't laugh, you'll cry. We've <laughs> <laughs> got the camera set up here, it's good to go. And bags. <sighs> I don't fancy taking out in that. Skogafoss is another one of Iceland's iconic waterfalls. It sits just off of Route 1, um, so it's very accessible. I would suggest photographing Skogafoss waterfall at sunrise or during the night to do some astral work, as it won't be as busy with tourists. The main issue I had at this location was the amount of spray that comes off the waterfall. The volume of water coming down and battering against the ground creates a lot of spray and the slightest gust of wind, that spray travels all the way back and soaks you, your camera equipment and your filters, your lenses, everything will get saturated in water. So be prepared to get soaked at this location. Well, that's us just arrived at our hotel apartment in Reykjavik. Back in place. Um, we're going to get changed quickly, got a quick wash. Straight back out. Um, <laughs> this is the first bit of sunshine we've actually seen today, the drive through. Um, and it's looking promising for the Aurora tonight. It's actually KP6 right up until 12 o'clock, which is excellent. 
Um, so we're going to we're rushing about here, going to get a few batteries charged up and get back out. Hopefully get some nice little action. Um, I'll just grab up again or something from the shop. Good.